what is happening everybody it's your girl vanity v hope you guys are having a great day today so let's jump into it trader season two um it is on peacock and i'm gonna just say i am pleasantly surprised i did not watch season one you guys but when I heard about the, pre the the premise and the popularity of the show and when I saw the cast, I was like, okay, this is my type of show. I want to see, you know, what's going on. And then, you know, everybody's been talking about how amazing the first season was. So I was like, okay, I'm going to check out season two. Like I said, it comes on Peacock. Now, before we get into the cast and start reviewing the first episode of this second season, let's talk about what the show is about, okay? So, Traders is like, if I can describe it really quickly, it's like Survivor meets Big Brother meets Clue meets a little bit of Spring of Little Housewives in there and all in one mashup in one bowl and then you get this like amazing show that is based out of Scotland where the show starts with 21 players. This, this cast is so diverse from all walks of life. We got athletes, we got... Uh, challenge champions we got housewives we got um who else is on it i mean it's so many people people from the real world um it's just so many people in the cast and so it's 21 players we have people who are chosen by the host which i forgot his name i, I actually like him a lot I, you know this is I, this is my first time watching this so by the next episode that i review i'll know his name so the host picks traitors and then the other people are what are they what are they called y'all help me help me help me child um faithfuls right and so the traitors right they are the people who choose each week to murder or kill someone off essentially they choose who leaves the show and there is a cash prize. They start out with $250,000 for the person who wins the show. And as we go along, there are challenges. And if you win the challenge, you know, that money is added to the pot at the end. Okay. And if the traders who are not supposed to reveal their identity to the, the faithfuls, which is everybody else, if the traders, if one of the traders makes it to the end, then they win the show. Okay. So that's kind of the premise of the show. All right, let's talk about this cast. Now, before I get into the cast, I'm ex especially excited about this because for one, Big Brother is like my favorite show ever. ever. I've watched every season. Um, I'm very familiar. If I ever could go on a reality show, it would be Big Brother. And Dan Giesling, who is the best Big Brother player ever in life, is on here. When I saw Dan was on here, I said, oh my Lord. I, I, if you guys are not familiar with Dan, go watch the seasons he was on Big Brother. He won season 10 and then was it season 13, 14 when he was the runner up to Ian. This is how much I've watched Big Brother. But he he's a Big Brother legend, best player to ever do it. He's smart. He's charming. He's smart. He's smart. And he is cutthroat. He don't give a damn if it, his mama was in the show. He would get rid of his mom. That's the type of player that Dan is. And he, he you would never see it coming. He's going to backstab you, but like in front of you. You know what I'm saying? Um, but you're never going to see it coming until he does because he's so nice. He's encouraging. Like he's a high school football coach in like real life or he was. So when I saw that Dan was on here, I said, oh my Lord. I knew he was going to be the traitor immediately. I was like, they would be an idiot not to choose him. However, if you are familiar with Dan, like immediately when I, if I, if I was in that cast and I saw who was in, he was there, I would be like, oh no, we got to get rid of Dan. Like there, he's going to be the traitor. He got to go. Right. Then also from Big Brother, they have Janelle, who I also love. Janelle is also one of the best players from Big Brother to ever play. Um, however, her strategies are much different than Dan. She's really smart and she's cutthroat, but she's a very, very athletic player. She wins challenges. She's she's going to be really good in that aspect. But Janelle, girl, Janelle, you should have knew Dan was going to be the traitor. I don't know how. Again, I have not gone past episode one, y'all. So I don't know what has happened in the next episode. But what I will say as of episode one, Janelle doesn't know. Girl, I do. I would have known it was Dan. Janelle, you played with him several times. You should know. 
cool. So anyway, so then we have Janelle. We have Phaedra Parks, which... So the two traders are Phaedra and Dan. This, spoiler alert, but not really, because, I mean, hopefully if you are watching this, you saw the first episode. I think he did a great job with choosing the traders. I absolutely think he choose, he chose the two most intelligent and two most shady people in this house. And I'm not even familiar with everybody in the house. There's a transgender woman who I, I don't I don't know who that is. Um, and then I I am not a I don't watch Survivor. I'm familiar with some of the winners. Um, I did know Sandra won Survivor, but I don't watch Survivor. So there are about three players from Survivor. I'm not familiar with with them like that. Um, but Phaedra and Dan are the perfect traders. Then we have Deontay, who is a former heavyweight champion. I do like him. We got CT with his little fine self, which if you if you watch the challenge, you know he's the best challenge player along with Johnny Bananas. They are like the muscle. They're good at the athleticism, but both of them are also really, really smart. And both of them are cutthroat too, so don't get it twisted. It's a lot of shady people in here. It's not just, you know, Phaedra and Dan. CT, don't get twisted. You saw what happened when they had that challenge with CT did. CT and Johnny are cutthroat too. Then we have um we have Sheree's there, which I mean, you know, I like Sheree, but you know, she hasn't made a splash yet. We got Larsa with her lying ass. Larsa and um my, uh, Michael, what's her boyfriend? What's his name? Lord have mercy. Michael Jordan's son that she's with. They're both on the show, which is going to be interesting because obviously when you come into these type of challenge type shows and you come in with like a friend or a mate or your mama or whatever, you're going to be a target. Um, I don't care what it, what Larsa or what is his name? Marcus, Marcus Jordan. I don't care what her or Marcus say. They, they're going to have, you know, a certain level of an allegiance to each other. So people are going to be targeting them right off the rip. We have Trishelle, who is like an OG from Real World um, Las Vegas, the original Real World Las Vegas, I believe. I haven't seen her in a long time. She's there. Um, it's, a, it's a lot of people, you guys. Um, I'm trying to think. Like I said, I don't know all of the Survivor people. people. There is that transgender woman who I don't know. And then there's some Love Island people, which I don't watch that show. So I, I'm not familiar. But it is a very diverse cast. Men, women, different ethnicities, different shows. So the cast is well-rounded. So that should be really interesting. Okay. So we find out, you know, they sit around the little table. The host, you know, goes around and he picks the traitors. He picks Dan, which Dan made it off the rip. And then, again, if you know Dan, you know he's the perfect trader. If you're familiar with him from Big Brother, you already know what time it is. He said, I came here to be a trader. So, of course, he picked Dan. I would have picked Dan, too, just because he's a phenomenal. He's the best. Dan Giesling is the best reality show player I've ever seen, ever. Out of any reality, the challenge, he's just so smart. And it's scary because like you like him so much you know what i'm saying like he's so smart he's good at some of the athletic challenges when he needs to turn it on but it's like when you have the ability to like make people like you even though they know you're sneaky but you still make them like you that's that's like you know that's a little bit of a of a double-edged sword there for him to really do well so um, so anyway, the, again, he goes around the table. He picks Phaedra. He picks Dan. Like I said, I think he picked the perfect people. So right after that, everybody's like, you know, when they take their blindfolds off, everybody's like, well, damn, you know, are you the traitor? Well, I thought I heard him raise his hand and hit you. And Larsa starts blaming people. I can't stand Larsa, y'all. I'm sorry. I, and I... I I love Miami Housewives. It's one of my favorite franchises of the Housewives. It's really, this season's really good. But Larsa just be lying. Like the fact that, and I'm digressing and I'm gonna get back on track real quick, y'all. But the fact that Larsa said that she and Scottie Pippen had sex four times a night. And then she, now she's saying that her and Marcus do it five times a night. Every night, girl, you're stop lying like Larsa just lies so much so I right off the rip um Larsa's blaming Parvetta Parvetta 
I'm sorry if I'm saying you. I'm, I'm, sh I'm certain that I just got your name wrong. But the, the young lady that has one survivor, because it's her and Sandra, I believe. Like I said, I know Sandra. Larsa starts blaming her like... I thought I heard, you know, I have really good hearing and I heard him tap your shoulder. I know you're the traitor. And, and she's like, she turned to Larsa like, you don't want it with me. You're barking up the wrong tree. Don't do that. And Larsa, you should just chill because, you know, Larsa, you're not like smart. You're not athletic. You know what I mean? Like this game is not, it's not your cup of tea. Like just be cool, ease into it. Like stop making so much noise. You know, just feel things out before you just start blaming people. Because you got it. You were strong and wrong like you always are, Larsa. So, like I said, you know, everyone's, like, feeling people out. You know, trying to just check out this person, that person. And just, you know, seeing if there's any um, anybody who is acting nervous. I think Janelle turned to the... Oh, there's a politician. I forgot his name. The older gentleman. She turned to him and was like, you breathing hard. Are you the um, traitor? He's like, I have asthma or whatever. I don't It's just funny seeing them all like turn to each other and blame each other and they're all wrong because clearly, like I said, uh, you got Phaedra and then you got Dan who have the best poker faces. They are smarter and wittier than everybody in this cast. So, they're all wrong. So, we got that. The cast is getting to know each other. And then they have their challenge. Remember I talked about, you know, each episode they have a challenge where if they pass the challenge, then, you know, they get a certain amount of money, which for this particular challenge, if they won the challenge, they would add the $30,000 to the final pot of money that the winner would win. And if they didn't win the challenge, then they wouldn't get the money, right? So in the midst of the challenge, there are three shields that are thrown into there, right? So if you can either choose to go immediately and get a shield, and if you got one of these three shields, you would be safe from elimination, right? Or you could just start working on the challenge as a team, you know, trying to win the challenge, you know what I'm saying? Being a team player. So immediately, it's just funny because I just, I love Big Brother so much. So I already know how Janelle and um, Dan are. I knew Janelle was going to go and get one of those shields. So Janelle's, you know, so when the challenge starts, they, they're first, it starts, they're tied up with rope. Everybody's tied up. They have to untie themselves before they even start it. So Janelle's the first person untied. She's like, I don't give a damn about none of these people because that's just, Janelle's style she's like I'm going to go get my shield so I can be safe because I know I'm a big target I already done blamed a man that say he has asthma so I'm gonna go ahead and get my shield right so she goes she gets her shield so obviously people are looking at her like damn you know because what you essentially should do is like once you untie yourself start helping the other people untie themselves so that you all can work as a team but not not Janelle Janelle Wynn got that shield. So everybody's looking at her like, damn, really, Janelle? You know, and that, obviously, that puts a target on her back. But Janelle's used to it. And don't get it twisted. <laughs> Janelle's good. So, like, you know, be careful with targeting her because she's good at challenges. She's really smart. You know, she's fantastic at in every aspect. But she knows she's a big target, so she went to get her shield. So, you know, everybody's untying themselves. They start working together. Um, there's water involved, you know, there's always water involved in these challenges. And so they have to like paddle in the river to get different puzzle pieces. The goal is to find different pieces to put the puzzle together. And if they were able to get all the pieces, put the puzzle together, then they win, right? So they start doing that, you know, people are doing, you know, people are being tempted. Like, should I go get a shield? You know, should I do this? So after Janelle goes and gets her shield, people seem to be working together. You know, you got a big boat with CT and um, Deontay and Johnny Bananas and, you know, all the big brolic guys. They're rowing the boat to go, you know, get the different puzzle pieces. But then, because you know CT's cutthroat too. So he saw a shield. He was like, hmm, you know, kind of like double dutch. Like, what do I do? Do I... This fool jumped out the boat <laughs> in the midst of like all the guys trying to go get puzzle pieces. When got the second shield, got back in the boat and started helping. <laughs> I said, I 
I know that's right, CT. CT said, shit, I'ma help y'all. We gonna get this done, but I'm about to go get this puzzle piece because he's also a big target. Everyone knows how good he is at all of these things. And he's smart too. So then when he does that, Deontay, who's in the same boat, he sees the third puzzle piece. Deontay jumps out. He goes and gets his puzzle piece. He gets back in the boat. So now we know the three people who have the shields is Deontay, CT, and Janelle. Okay, so we got that out the way. Now they have, mind you, they have to do all of this in 40 minutes. Okay, so um, now they're all scrambling. They're like, oh my God, you know, da, 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 da. So what I will say, this is what I will say. When it comes to challenges like this, this is right up CT and Johnny Bananas Alley. So, you know, they kind of um, start, you know, taking control, giving, you know, advice on this is what you should do, da 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 whatever, whatever. And then I forget the young lady that found the actual paper that showed the picture of the puzzle piece because before they had that, they didn't know what they were even putting together. So um, I want to say it was the lady Pavati from... Um, survivor she i think it was her she found the paper and so now they started to put the puzzle pieces together and miraculously literally they ended up winning the challenge with like three seconds left okay so then oh i missed a big part you guys remember i said that there are two traders so the host of the show has indicated that the two traders later that evening get to pick one more trader to join them. Like, obvious, all this is anonymous and it's in secret. So let me, I just forgot that tidbit. So after, you know, they go shower and, you know, the host of the show is just like, okay, so, you know, you guys get yourselves together. They're having dinner. You know, people are still trying to figure out who is this, you know, people going in their corners. Like, this is when the strategizing is starting. You know, Dan is, you know, his claws are coming out. He's like, okay, I have to pick. He, well, he uh, and mind you, at this point, Dan and Phaedra don't know that each other are the traders. Okay, so he's filling people out because he knows he's gonna have to pick a third trader. So he's like, you know, I want to pick someone who's going to be cutthroat like me, who's not gonna be scared to, you know, get rid of people, who's going to, um, you know, be that I can possibly use as a pawn later and, and to get rid of, and you know, instead of myself, but who's going to kind of fit well in with both of the traders but that someone that you know they wouldn't know or realize that i would actually you know um have anything to do with you know he's strategizing on how he should go about picking the, the traders him and janelle dip off have a little conversation you know he has a conversation with with sandra you know he's 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 just getting to know people so everybody's kind of doing that um you know and uh trishelle ends up getting into it a weird little back and forth with somebody i forget who it was where and then Trish, trishelle's like well i know if i get eliminated it was you i don't know people you, you know how these games are people just everyone's looking at everybody like who is the person that's going to possibly eliminate me so then they all go to their sleeping quarters and then the host of the show calls the traders who are dan and phaedra up and then they find out that they're the traitors it i love that moment um because you know you know phaedra's gonna give you a ooh child so she saw dan she gives her a little ooh child and they both look excited they both are like i had no idea that it was you i will say this they both have a great poker face um i would i think phaedra more than dan I study Dan and I know Dan's gameplay so well that I would have known he was the traitor just because uh, I just know him because, again, I admire him so much. I study his gameplay and once upon a time I wanted to get on Big Brother and I just watched him. So I knew his face to me gave it away, but I don't think these people really know about Dan. There's no way because if they did, and I'm not even trying to gas Dan up, y'all. I'm really not. That's how good he is. Out, Janelle knows. But outside of Janelle and maybe some of the uh, Survivor people, these other people don't know what time it is with Dan because I, I just would have known. So anyway, him and Phaedra, you know, they're excited that 
they seem genuinely excited like oh okay because nobody would expect it would be them you know you know what i'm saying working together and so they're starting to talk about you know who they think the third trader is going to be you know they start going down um you know dan's talking about the people he thinks well first they talk about who they kind of don't want to be and then they start saying okay who could potentially be a good one um Larsa's name came up which I would never pick Larsa um and I wouldn't want to either because she has that allegiance to Marcus obviously they bring up Janelle um they bring up both Sandra and the other young lady from Survivor um who else did they talk about it, it was about four or five people who they were kind of ruminating on like okay it they were on the same page then this episode goes off and of course they leave us in suspense i'm actually about to watch the second episode now because i just i want to know who the third trader the third trader is going to be the episode goes off and before we don't know who they um chose to murder or who the third trader is going to be so that is how the episode goes off y'all i know i just said a lot but I, this show is really good. Outside of, um, uh, what's the show on Netflix that I, uh, the series I just finished watching a couple weeks ago. Um, oh my God. That, the, the game show that was so freaking good. Why well, can't, what's wrong with me? I can't think of the, the name of anything tonight. Um, the show that was based out of Asia, Red Light, Green Light. I can't think of the name of the show. That, that game show was amazing, but this I'm excited about. I'm really excited that I started watching it. I'm, I'm hoping y'all enjoyed my review. I would like to review this whole season. So um, let me know what you guys think. Are you enjoying it? Do you like the cast? I'm telling y'all, Dan is on here. If you don't watch for anything else, watch for to watch the brilliance of his gameplay that you're about to see because... Dan is, he's a beast, y'all. I'm just saying. He's, I'm not, again, I'm not gassing this man up. He could sell water to a well. That's how good he is. So I'm just excited to see that. And then him and Phaedra, because Phaedra's equally as cutthroat. We, if you watch Housewives, you already know Phaedra, what time it is with her. So, um, so yeah, you know, you guys, let me know your guys' thoughts. Please like, subscribe, share. Um, and I'll talk to y'all soon. And then I'm going to watch the second episode. All right, bye-bye.